Okay, let's learn about GIMP together. I'll run a timer and do this about every 10 minutes. Um, if you're in Ubuntu, you might press the dots and type GIMP here, and then you'd click it. But what I did was you click that and you add to favorites. So let me just show you. Remove from favorites. All right, you see it's here. Right click it, add to favorites. Puts it back up there. So that's in, um, in Ubuntu. Now, F1 is supposed to be help. If I hit F1, I get this message. So apparently it's App Honor, or I'm thinking Ubuntu Security is interfering with the functioning of the help in GIMP. So, dear Ubuntu, if you could have a workaround so that the help is available in GIMP, that would be nice. Then people would have more use for it. Um, but we'll learn GIMP together. We'll work on this. So normally it would be you would mouse over an item and you would hit F1 and uh, it should open something additional. But I get this error message. Now the good thing is if you arrow over it, it does tell you what it is. And if you go into GIMP, um, there's a search bar and you can write like here, it's the free select tool and you'll get all the pages in the GIMP documents that talk about the free select tool. Um, let's start by, uh, well, you see this here. Let's, let's look, if you speak different languages, go into edit Go to Preferences down here at the bottom and go to Language should be here somewhere. Um, interface. Look at Interface. If you click Interface, it says Language System Language. So it's using the same language that your computer is preset for. But um, if you hit the arrow, you see it has languages all over the world for it. So uh, there. All right, so that's how you would change the language if you don't speak English. Edit, preferences, and then on the interface would be where you would find that. Um, under the help, there are similar issues. If I click open the GIMP user manual help, it gives me er the error. That's what we'd like to fix. Context help, if you want to help with something in particular, click on that, but you see it doesn't work on Ubuntu. But if you go to the tip of the day, it will give you a tip. Like here it is, you will read the tips probably uh, in each Let's Learn GIMP Together video. You can get context sensitive help for most of GIMP's features <laughs> by pressing the F1 key at any time. We saw that didn't work. This also works inside the menus. Well, let's try the next tip. Uh, well, let's see, is there a previous? Um, all right, we'll just do the next tip after that. GIMP uses layers to let you organize your image. Think of them as a stack of slides or filters, such that looking through them, you see a composite of their context. Now, if I click Learn More, I get that message again, the error message. Um, okay, so that is the GIMP um, tip of the day. Now for, you see this window up here 
has um, things on each side in the middle where your photo would go. Um, if you go to Windows, look down at the bottom, if you click that X, if you unhighlight that, it makes where the photo's at separate from your individual toolbox and brushes windows. Go back to Windows, re-highlight the single windows mode, and everything is put back together. So that's Windows. Um, all right, let's open, let's open two different things. So let's open uh, from my pictures. And uh, I have a Git practice folder I made. I took a picture of a bird in a puddle. That's the bird there. Um, I hope you don't mind if I just put this photo of me down. And now let's open, let's open another. Um, open, not as a layer, but this should open it as a separate window. Okay, so you see this tab is in this restaurant, uh, which is in Binghamton. And this tab is from my yard, a puddle in my yard. All right. Now, if you hit tab, okay. Oh, okay, that kind of messed things up. Now, I don't know how to get that back. Holding my finger on tab does this. Mm-hmm. See what happens if I X out and reopen it. All right, it's back to normal. Um, I thought if you hit, oh, it's Alt and the number. All right, so if I hit Alt and the number one, it will go there. If I hit Alt and the number two, it will go there. So if you have tabs going across the screen, hitting Alt and the tab number will bring you to the different Alt 1, Alt 2, first tab, second tab. Um, let's see. If you control page up, or page down, it will move you along the tabs as well. All right, well, that's an introduction to opening a picture and some basic things. Here, let me put, so that concludes an introduction to GIP. Um, and we'll continue uh, in more videos, hopefully, on this. Thank you.